know what time it is. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How, how it all works. Come on. We can tell what's important to us by looking at where we spend our time and money. In our family budget, there's a line item for personal development, which corresponds with time allocated on our calendars every month. Books, webinars, conferences, mastermind groups, coaching, and of course, self-paced online courses in subject areas that we want to strategically grow in. Here at How It All Works, 
we would love to be part of your personal development. We have a growing catalog of free resources available on YouTube, and we're excited to add to them self-paced online courses through our website, kirkrnugent.com slash courses. <laughs> there you'll find training specific to live streaming platforms, live video strategy for remote producers. You'll also find our mastermind group membership, which is a great partner to any of the courses you register for. Thanks to our sponsors, our prices are very reasonable and we're posting new products every month. Visit today and let's figure out how it all works. What's good, family? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I see you out there. Simply ball dropping podcast says, I'm here. You got to make your presence known, fam. Seesaw Studios in the place. What's good, baby? I see you, Doc. I see you. I see you. See, Seesaw is a part of that 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 inner group, right? Because we all had the master class yesterday. Uh, Seesaw was in that in that master class yesterday. I'm just letting y'all know. I know we got to make sure the FOMO is real, right? Seesaw had it was in that master class. Yo, Stephen Woods, I'm going to use his real name, his government name, not his, his superpower name. But Seesaw was in there with us. We were talking about live show planning A to Z. And today, tonight, we're going to be talking about, yeah, yeah, online courses. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's go to our announcements. Yes, let's let's get to it. <laughs> it's real, folks. <laughs> Seesaw says it's real. Come on, come on, come on. Some of y'all in the comments, if you're here, let's go ahead and share this thing. We're going to have a good time tonight. Let's go ahead and share this thing I've got. A uh, really cool guy. If y'all don't know Joe, by the time this show is over, you will know him. And I'm excited to put him in front of the How It All Works audience. All right. But yes, y'all know what it is. 31 live streaming tips to grow your audience. I actually took a look at this over the weekend, this PDF, this ebook that I got privileged to, to write myself. I got a chance to relook at it because I was trying to do something for a client. And I was like, man, those tips are gold. <laughs> That those tips are gold. I'm like, what in the world, bro? Ah, oh, man, you you guys got to get this thing. That's all I'm saying. All right, go ahead and grab the book, KirkArnugent.com. You'll find it. It's on the main page right there for you to grab. Go ahead and get the book. If you're trying to level up with live streaming, look, if you have a business, passion project, it doesn't matter. Side hustle, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is you're trying to push, your live stream is your digital storefront. Mm. Uh, the reason why I'm pausing is because you're going to see that, that phrase in a second. Because my guy Joe has his T-shirt on, right? Your live stream is your digital storefront. Y'all go see that in a second. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Start your live video journey today. We can help you. I always want to make sure you guys understand and know this is what we do here at Composition. That's the name of the company. Uh, that's the name of the company. Uh, Composition is the name of the company. <laughs> three times. I got to give you three times. That is what we do here, right? My wife does the web design. I do the live video strategy, live video marketing live video coaching. So you want to start your live video journey. We can help you. We'd love to have a chance to chat with you. Come to the website, kirkarnusian.com. All over the site are client examples, different things that we've done for others before. You may hear a little bit of that tonight as well, because our guest is also a partner in business as well. So excited about that. But yeah, we want to help you. We want to help you launch your show, help you launch your brand, help you to be plucked from obscurity and placed into the light so everybody can know what your superpower is and run to you to get that thing done. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is some of, these are just a couple of the courses that are available on the, on the page. We're gonna get into courses a little bit later, but the flyer is out. The April lineup is out. This is the first time you guys are seeing it. The April lineup is here. The April lineup is here. It's taking me longer to get to my other. There it is. The April lineup is here. I wanted to make sure you guys could see that a little bit bigger. Don Daniel from The Pill Method is going to be next Monday. We got Sydney Freeman, Dr. Sydney. What's good, Lakia Lewis? Dr. Sydney Freeman is going to be here from the Liberation Movement. He's going to be here on the second week of April. Then my dude, JP High Tech. Perfect Zone Production. He's going to be here on the third week of April. And then Corey and Lakita Staten, if y'all don't know them, Blind Guy, His Wife, Their Life, right here on YouTube. I'm excited to have them come through. And the series is called Why I Go Live. 
Okay, why I go live. If you've ever asked, if you ever wanted to ask somebody that question, next month is, this, is the month for you, why I go live. That's the series. Trust me on this one. You want to be here. You want to be in the space. Yes, you want to be in the space. You want to make sure you're, you're, you're with us for this series, uh, even as we close out this series right now, right? This series of, of learn, okay? This learn series, the learn series the learn series. Yes. As we close out the learn series with course creation with my guy, Joseph Mwange, I'm excited to have him come through and chat with us today. It is going to be dope. So we're not going to do any, you know, any more pleasantries. We're going to dive right in. Y'all make sure you keep on greeting people in the chat and start sharing the joint as well. We want to get more people in here because we're going to be talking about some really good stuff today. So without any further ado, let's get it. Yes, 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 yes. My God. Yes. <laughs> listen, listen, he, he already he already sat up in the seat so you guys could see, you know. He he already sat up <laughs> so you guys could see your live stream is your digital storefront with that purple. Yes, sir. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love yes, it. Sir. I love it. GP. GP is in the house. What's good, GP? Good to see you out here in these internet streets. Excited to have our guest here with us today. I want to say this, a word of welcome to our podcast crew. For those who are catching this on the replay, I want to say a word of welcome to all of you guys. Our guest today is none other than Joseph Mwange. I am excited to have you here with us, man. Joe, how you doing? I'm doing good, my brother. I'm doing so good, and <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad to be here with you, my guy. This is good, man. This is good. This is good. I always love when we can we can we can chat it up. I, we have done multiple. Like for those that don't know, we've done multiple projects together, and a lot of messages back and forth trying to get things situated and done in the background. But I'm excited. I'm excited to have you on today yeah. so we can chat about you know some of that mindset around how you create this course. But before we get into that. I want you to I want you to talk to the folks out there. I see you. I see you, GP. I see you, Laki. I see you, Simple Simply Ball Tracking Podcast. I see you guys out there. Thank you so much. And again, make sure we're sharing this as much as we can. But yeah, Joe, give the viewers and listeners a window into who you are, right? And 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 the road that led you to course creation, right? This because clearly everybody I talked to that ever created a course they had a burning desire, right? Something, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. They've got an origin story, right? So talk to folks, you know, first, before we get to the origin story, because that's our second question, just talk to folks about who you are, what you do currently, and some of the spaces that you play in. Yeah, so so Joe Nyamwange, uh, I am the founder of Nyamwange Investments as well as Nyamwange Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, those are literally two areas that I'm extremely passionate about uh, when you kind of sum it all together, though, the, my main focus and at least my calling in life is to help people of color, specifically people that look like you and me, mm. to help liberate and help them win. And, and that's kind of mm. my commitment to the world. It's like, look, I'm going to give you everything I have, everything I've done, the things that God has helped me through yeah. to make sure that we are advancing and we are um, uh, we are we are pushing an agenda that is lifting people of color to get back to where we rightfully are. And so that's right. That's um, right. You know, that's something that is just in my heart that I'm really passionate about. Man, I look forward to, to, to obviously chopping it up with you today about more Absolutely. details about it. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. So let's, I, I think you guys can already start to hear some of the passion, some of the some of that fire. I mean, as soon as he started talking about, you know, helping folks win, helping our folks win yeah. in the matters that matter. Right. In the in the matters of finance, uh, I, I can I can always already hear that that fire, you know, welling up. So I'm loving yeah. that. Excited to have you with us tonight, man. This is going to be be awesome. Talk a little bit about, you know, what led you to course creation, because I mean, there are many ways to get the message out there. Why, why sure. create a course? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think Kirk, the, the course creation part, believe it or not, like that's at the end. Like yeah. it's, 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 you don't go in to say, let me create a, a course. At least that's mm -hmm. how it wasn't. It wasn't like that for me. Uh, it really rooted in a burden like that I had. And it's specifically 
um, it, you know, when, you know, one of the things I talked about before is my foundation where we started kind of going into inner city communities and giving kids scholarships. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you right now, Kirk, like one of the things that, that hit home for me, um, every time we had the scholarships, you know, we had students fill out the applications. Um, uh, and one of the areas they have to highlight is their income. And so, oh, wow. Um, it was 80 to 90 percent of the students' income was twenty thousand dollars and less household income per year. And I remember I looked at my wife, I was like, babe, like we're here trying to give a little thousand dollar scholarship here and there. That ain't gonna move the needle. Mm. Like these people need these people are struggling finances and financially, and we gotta do we gotta talk about the big elephant in the room. Yeah. And yeah. that's when I started realizing, like, well, wait a minute, the synergies and struggles they had was somewhat similar to what I had. had yeah. And I know, God, you know, God has given me some things to, to help me get out of my situation. I'm like, we got to figure out how we're going to help our people at large. And so yeah. this, this burden like started like coming in my heart and all this, the, like the material Kirk, right? Like all that stuff started coming together and I started building and stuff. And so the course was literally just an output or an outpouring of everything that God did for me to help mm. people, I'm saying, let me, let me, let me put now um, my scar tissue. Let me put like all the things that I've done in a in a way that's packaged so people could yeah. receive it because I, I didn't necessarily have that. So, so that's kind of how the output of the course came. But that was the latter part, right? Like yeah, that was, yeah. you know, after you figure it out, like, yo, we we got <laughs> we got some work to do. So, so yeah, mm. man, that's that's kind of how we how it came together. Man, that is that is gold. That is gold. I, I I often tell people that if you're looking for content to produce on YouTube, if you're looking for content to produce for others to consume, what comes naturally to you is going to be a part of your lived experience. It's going to be part of your story. It's going to be part of, you know, it's, it's the fabric of your life. It's not, you're not trying to find content. You're not trying to make it up because you've lived it, right? So yeah. you're really just kind of sharing with people, this is the roadmap that I took and I'm trying to share with you you know, I'm showing you the before and after picture, right? <laughs> how it started and how it's going. And and I'm saying to you that there was a process in between and I'm excited and I'm impassioned in, in, in about getting people on that journey as well. And I can absolutely hear that from you. I love I love that um, you're in lockstep and in partnership with your spouse on this joint as well. I think that's that's absolutely amazing. It's dope as it's very much, the, you know, what me and my wife are doing as well. We are in, 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 in partnership in business, partnership in love, partnership in, in, in in, in this home um, is something that, that the Lord has done. And we, we, we know that we're privileged to, to be able to work that way, but man, I, I love that question. I'm going to throw up this second one because I think it's, 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 it's perfect. It's a perfect segue. So, you know, how did you get started with, with live video? So you have a show now, right? And then you have, sure. and then you also use, used live video as the launch mechanism for the course. Yeah. So, you know, talk to us a little bit about, you know, that, origin story what is what do you did you have a podcast before how did you yeah. come, come around to 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 live video yeah well let me tell you something man I, I i'll be honest with you and it's funny like facebook does a good job like reminding you of things that you've been doing <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it's funny like i even today i was looking at like it says four years ago today i posted a video about helping uh, an African-American get out of debt. That's before even a course came together or anything. And I was just so pumped for him. And so I'm telling you, it, it's almost like Facebook. It's like God is using Facebook to remind you of <laughs> Here the you different go. seeds that like, like, like said, look, look, I've been birthing this thing in you for long. You just weren't right. paying attention. Right. Um, right. But in, ter in terms of origin, man, look, this, this, and actually you're going to hear me say this a lot. Um, it came from a burden for the people. One, but mm -hmm. two it was, it was my personal story, man. Like it yeah. was like, Yo, I was $100,000 in debt back in 2015. I had a negative net worth. Mm. Um, I was I was in financial strengths. I wanted to do so much from a philanthropic perspective, but I couldn't. Like, I didn't have no money. And I people yeah. didn't know that, though. I looked rich. I looked the part. And so right. it was like, nah, man. And, and I realized, I was like, God, we got you got to get me out of this thing. And so what ended up happening was, you, you know, you, you, you start figuring out, you know, what's out there that takes yeah. into account some of the systemic challenges that we as black people face. Right, and then more right. importantly, like, like, like the information, like there's so many different data points to capture. Like, how do we get something that's digestible? And yeah, so what yeah. ended up happening, man, is like, like literally as I started, like this burden started like hitting me, what ended up happening to kind of get me over the, the, mm -hmm. the, the finish line is God started putting people in my life. And so ah. it was like, 
I remember I took a course with Seth on his vision clarity mm-hmm. and it was like a, we did an intensive two week course about helping me understand my vision. And it, it was made clear that this is what I'm supposed to do. And I remember I'm like, God, I'm like, all right, like I got it. I need to help people financially, but how in the world am I supposed to do this? And I right. never forget Myron hit me up. Myron was like, yo, bro, I need you to come talk to my men's winning group. And I came and I talked to them and he was like, yo, you need to do something. And I remember telling him, I was like, yo, yeah, I'm going to do something. At the time, my wife was pregnant. I was like, yeah, maybe 2025. Yeah, like, you know? yeah, yeah. And he was like, 2025? He was like, yo, the people need help now. Like, you got to you gotta get into the game now. Let me link you up with my guy, Kimon. And so what ended up happening was, I'm like, uh, you know, Kimon, and, and mm. you know, we assembled a team. Yeah. And clearly yeah. off rip, they saw the passion that I had. So they were there like, Joseph. I see the passion. I see your commitment. It speaks yeah. clearly. Yeah. You in talking to you, I know you're like you got the strategy. Yeah. You just got to put this in a package that people can consume this. Like you got to put your life story out. And so when I say having the right team, these guys really helped me with the opera op, the operational piece where I was like, yo, Man. it's time. Like right. it's time. Yeah. And bro, now yeah. that morphed into the launch of FLA. Right. Where, you know, we've now have, you know, 100 plus families that have gone through our program in our first year. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 the and the biggest takeaway that everyone started saying was like, yo, we need more content. Like we need yeah. more. We need more. And more. Right. And that's what launched. Let's talk money. money. That's what launched my two cents, you know, weekly right. clip. Right. Um, right. And so it's like, dude, all this data that God has downloaded in me. It's like you just it's so much. You got to put I have it out to there. Give. I got to put it out there, bro. I got to put it out there. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, one of the uh, things, so I, one of the things that I love about, I mean, you, your, your passion, it just shines. I mean, it just, it just comes through. I mean, you, whenever, as soon as you start talking about it, you could, everybody can hear it. And I, I think you get, you guys are, those that are watching, those that are listening, you, you can hear in his story, there are all the ingredients, but it's, it's not like, not, not to say that the story was easy. Right. Yeah. Not to say that, it, 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 you know, he just kind of fell into this space and it's like, let me. No, 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 no. In his story, all of the ingredients are there. He he felt compelled. And I think that's the best um, motivation for creating an online course. A lot of people approach the course scenario from the from the uh, from the opportunity. Right. From the opportunity yeah. Uh, yeah. approach. Right. So yeah. I, I want to make money while I sleep. And, and an on, I, I'm told that an online course is the easiest way to do this. And, and I think that is the absolute incorrect way. I, I, most of the people I know that are killing it with courses are people who, when they, they are using the course as a way to scale, right? So, yeah. so Joseph Mwanga can only work with so many people direct one-on-one. He can only work with a small amount of people. Let's say that's 20, maybe, maybe let's say 10, right? Effectively, let's say five, but with the course, Right. You can now work with a larger group at scale. Yeah. And that is Correct. that is the mindset I want people to walk away with when we're talking about creating an online course. The same way video and live video allows you to scale. Right. We can talk to all of the different people that are here now. We can talk to all the people that are listening uh, in the replay on the podcast. We can talk to all of those people. But but we don't we can have this conversation once. That, that it allows you to, to do that work at scale. And of course, essentially allows you to not only do the information transfer at scale, but also allow people to go through that transformation at scale as well. Because you build into that course benchmarks. We're going to dive into this a little bit. Benchmarks and all the metrics that are critical to ensure that people are successful in that space. I want to, I want to, I want to, um, ah, there's so much to, to chat through here. There, there's a piece that you said, shared, uh, Joe, talking about, uh, taking this is this is a critical piece. I don't want to. I don't want to. Make. I, I got to get this in here. You took a course that led you to clarity. That was the pur- purpose yeah. of the course, right? That was the purpose right. of the course was clarity. But that course led you to find l- your purpose, Correct. and that purpose led you to create a course. And I, and I don't want anybody to miss that order of events. Um, one of the other things that I find about other, about people who have, who are successful in creating courses is that they've taken courses, um, working with somebody right now. And I'm like, 
the struggle is that he has never taken a course before. So for him, it's, it's you know, we're, we're, it's, it's pie in the sky. It, it's ethereal. It's it's a concept, but it's he's never actually seen and experienced its impact. So so he doesn't, you know, trying to deliver it. It's, it's he's basically just going off of hearsay. So one of the other things I feel is a prerequisite if you're going to do a course is to take a course. And you're going to take bad courses. You're going to take mediocre courses. You're going to take courses where you're like, ah, that was okay. But you're going to find courses that you're like, wow, that was amazing. And, and I think the way that, that Joe and you and your team uh, set up the course is absolutely phenomenal. What's good, Laura? What's good, GP? I see you guys out there. Again, thank you so much for hanging out. I have a question that I want to throw on screen for our audience. This question is for the audience, but I'm, I'm also going to allow both Joe and I to answer it as well. If you were going to make a course, what would be the topic, number one, and what would you ultimately want the impact to be for your students? So topic and impact topic and impact topic and impact those are that's what we want to hear from you guys in the comments and 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 i'll go first <laughs> one of the things that i uh I'm, I'm actually building right now is a live video strategy course i know the power of live video and i want i know that there is a specific way a specific set of steps and processes and procedures that people can go through to really harness the power of live video so I want to do this live video strategy course, but the impact that I would like it to have is for people like everybody knows that person who does something phenomenally well. And you're almost to the point where it's like, how is this person not like a household name yet? How is it? How are they? Not, how do how does how are they not on Oprah? Like, how, how are they not walking the red carpet? How, how do we not see them, you know, on world stages yet? And and I, I firmly believe it's because they don't have a floodlight on them. And that is what live video is all about. So my impact piece is that people who have a product or service or some value to share with the world would be taken from obscurity and put into the light so that the world can consume what it is they have to offer. That's my impact piece. So Joe, I, we already know wow. what your topic is, but talk to us about what the impact piece is. I know you've already shared some of that as well, but talk to us while others are answering in the comments. Come on, we wanna see your comments. What would be your topic for your course and what did you want that impact to be? Talk to us in the comments, yeah. go ahead, Joe. Dude, so man, first off, you know, I love the amount of detail you put in your topic and impact. I could tell you've thought through that, you've, you know, you've answered. I'd say, <laughs> look, man, you know, for me, Kirk, I, like, and I've been I've been kind of talking about this for a while, but I, I genuinely want to build a generation of black millionaires I love who that. operate in purpose. Like and it's not just to have money for money's sake to ball. And there's always going to be a season for that. You know, but one of the things that was robbed from our people was mm. just a lack of understanding of who we really are from an historical point of view. Right. If yeah. you, most most people today, you know, kind of know that, you know, we were once slaves. Uh, you know, we came to this country uh, and we've struggled majority of our life. What people don't really know is that um, the contributions that black people have made on the world stage were enormous. Like we were contributors mm. to, to 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 medicine. We were contributors to mathematics, philosophy, people like Socrates, Aristotle, those guys, they came to Africa to learn. And we weren't poor. Like, yo, we had money. I mean, I, I was talking the other day about Mansa Musa. This guy was so wealthy that he caused inflation in his own country because he was <laughs> giving away so much of his money. And so that type of impact, I think a lot of people today of color um, don't see themselves in that light. No. And so my, my goal is, man, is how do we create people where we're, we're building wealth, but we're also giving back and, yes. and, and now we're operating in our terms. And I think that's the impact that I that I want to see. And so that's some that's kind of what I really want to lean in on. I want to lean that's on gold. a course that, you know, what I'm saying it doesn't always just talk about like, you know, getting out of debt, which is important. It is. But how do we make is. sure people are investing right the right way so we can get that income up so right. that we can be able to do what we want, when we want to do, how we want to do it. So that's kind of right. at least how I would. Right. Uh, something right. that's real. I'm real passionate about them, too. I think I think there's there's a lot to be said for the motive that you come to the table with. And you said such a mouthful right there in terms of 
I, it, you, it's not just having money for the sake of having money, but to, yeah. to actually be able to have impact with that influence and with that, with that notoriety, with that, uh, with that, with that opportunity that you have for having money, having, I mean, it, it is in and of itself a superpower, right? So there's responsibility that comes along with it. And I, I love that because I, 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 it resonates with me heavy, man. It resonates with me heavy. What's good? What's good? I see you out there at G Albert. I love, I love the fact that we got some folks chiming in in the comments. We're going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to say this question one more time, and then we're going to hear a quick message from our sponsor. Our sponsor this month is Hustle Healthier. Uh, and we, we're excited to sponsor that they've decided to sponsor the entire month. They're our platinum sponsor this month for the for the show, How It All Works. And we're going to hear from them in just a second. But right before we do, I want to put this question back out there again. If you were going to make a course, what would it be? What would be that topic? What would be its focus? Number one. And then number two, who, how would you want the the impact, what impact would you want to have on the people who take that course? What would you want to see them doing? What would you want that to look like? And, and we're going to come, we're going to run this uh, message real quick. And then we come back, we're going to uh, continue our conversation with Joseph Mwangi. Hustle Healthier is a social movement launched in direct response to the significant rise in hustle culture, a lifestyle that prioritizes work and professional success over everything else. The Hustle Healthier course is a three-part series created in partnership with Arlen Hamilton, investor and founder of Backstage Capital, designed to help entrepreneurs improve and maintain their mental health while working towards their entrepreneurial goals. By promoting balance, resourcefulness, and mental health, Hustle Healthier aims to build a world of mentally resilient self-starters who influence our generation and world for the better. For more information, visit hustlehealthier.co today. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all, listen, Hustle Healthier is 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 literally right in my lane. I mean, they 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 work with entrepreneurs, with thought leaders, with businesses and brands, helping people to take the toxicity out of hustle culture, right? There's a way to hustle that allows you to still be healthy, that allows you to still prioritize what you need to prioritize, where you're not going through the night and, and working again through the day and then through the night again, um, where you're missing out on things because you, you're you on your quote unquote grind. I love what they're doing at Hustle Healthier. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to partner with them for our live show this month. All month, this month, we've been hearing from Hustle Healthier and I hope that you guys check them out. Thank you for to my mods in the chat for making sure that we have that link in the comments, so I'm going to put that on screen real quick. There you go. Special thanks to our sponsor, Hustle Healthier. Thank you so much, Gary. We got a couple of comments that came through while the while the video was playing. I love it. Um, uh, one is from my guy Stephen Woods. Uh, he's out there in Philly. Uh, so so grab read this one for me real quick, Joe. This this one from Seesaw Studios. Yes, yeah, it's creating a brand bible. I would want to impact. I want the impact to be learning to treat your guidelines as gospel truths. Woo! Come yeah, that's, on. That's, 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 come that's on. Right come on. Come on. Stephen Woods. I love that. A brand Bible. And 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 there's a there's a lot that goes into that. Um, a lot of people think that branding is a logo and it's a color palette, right? It's a hex code. No, that's not branding. And I love uh, Steve, Steve, I think you are the right person for that, for that class, for that course. I love that. Dr. Sunny Fridge comes through. She's got a two-part message here. One first one says, topic working on creating a conquer fear course. The impact to help shy speakers, entrepreneurs, mm. and rising leaders overcome fear to speak with confidence and ease, all right? And she put in brackets again, so they share their message with the audience they are called to serve. Come on, Doc Sonny. I love that. Come on. I love That's that. That's dope. That's good. That is dope. Hey, Doc, that you need to get going on that immediately, okay? <laughs> you need to get going on that immediately. That is a need. And I love that you are so specific um, to help shy speakers, entrepreneurs, and rising leaders. Ooh, that's good. Because understanding the lane that you're in is also something very, I don't know, you guys heard Joe say it multiple times. His, he's not, his course is not for everyone. He's looking to help people of color uh, who have a heart for philanthropy, phil philanthropy. I said that the wrong way. Those are the people he's actually focused on. And that is a very specific niche. 
Understanding your niche also is critical in designing and setting up your course. And so, Doc Sunny, you have that thing clearly defined there. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm looking through here to see what else. David Kennedy says, that's me. I'm ready to sign up. You see what I'm talking about, Dr. Sonny? Let's go. You got you got clients in the comments already. You got clients in the comments. Uh, excited about that, man. Let's let's get our, our, our third uh, third question up here. We only got four for the entire show. Let's get our third question up here. Talk to us about the process, man, of, of creating a, a signature offer and your signature co course. Talk to us about that process. Uh, what, 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 I mean, because a lot of people think it's, it's all glory, but there's a no. lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Look, bro, I can tell you, man, when 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 I had the call to be like, yo, this is it. Like, we're doing this It for me. And it's not for everybody. For me, it wasn't until I would say maybe six, seven months before we did our like our our official launch with the mm -hmm. event that you did. And so mm -hmm. there was a process. And the reason why I wanted to get this right, Kirk, like, I, yeah. I, like especially like a lot of times. Like I wasn't trying to do something that was kind of just like choppy or, or not good. I wanted our people to get something of top quality. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that there was there, that all our, our bases were covered. Um, and so th so we you know, we had to figure out what was the right platform. Right. Uh, the back end. What does we make sure that it's easy, that it's easier for the user? They can yes. kind of get on and get access to it. Uh, we had to think this. through all of that. Right. And then yeah. making sure that the, what we were providing um, was well produced. Like I didn't yeah. want to just come and just now look. I, everyone's in a different space, right? And I'm not, you know, you obviously have to look at your budget, how you want to operate. But yeah, I yeah. felt for me was like, no, I'm going to make an investment in my people. Like I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Yeah, and I want to, I want to get the best people to do this. And what I learned, yeah. Kirk, is look, man, in 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 God blessing your ministry, you're blessing other people's ministry, That's right? It. These are people who 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 had a heart for video production. Yeah, mm -hmm. people had a heart for, um, you know, um, like operation, business operation. People had yeah. a heart for bringing your ideas to life, and 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 you just, I'm telling you, man, look, Kirk, this is how the spirit works. Yeah. When you when you start operating in your purpose, you start <laughs> linking with other people in their purpose, and that's how the the blessings come out, right? And so, so that's kind of what happened with us when we were put in the course. It was like, all right, it, it was Joe. You you know the material. You're the content creator show yes. up and it was yes. like i could do that but showing up alone is not enough you know what no. i'm saying a lot of people no. could just show up there's a whole bunch of stuff that going into it and, and when you start stepping out in faith what i've learned kirk is god is going to start putting things in order like you know what i'm My saying Lord. and and yeah. other yeah. people are going to be blessed and Love so that's that. kind of how we did it man and, and that's how we kind of launched um uh fla and yeah. when we were ready and you would appreciate this it's funny when i was talking to my business coach I'm like, look, man, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, how are we going to lie? Like, how are we going to go live with this thing? I, I said, I want my production to be, I want people to say, this is a professional. He said, I got a guy. He said, Come I got on. a guy named Kirk. And I was like, Come all on. right, well, uh, introduce me to this guy. <laughs> I was like, I need it to be legit. Show me his work. And bro, yeah. when I saw your work, man, I was like, yeah, he's the guy. Like, yeah. We, we got to get this done. And so I love that. I man, love that. We launched and it was, it was all, it was a blessing, man. It was a blessing. Man. Listen, you know, one of the, first of all, love it. I, I, I love it. You know, one of the things I think people need to hear is that it was a process. You know, there, 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 oftentimes you will stumble into something. You'll say, oh, I took uh, Joe's course and man, the course was dope. And, and you, you're, you don't see the, the year to 18 months prior. Cause you did it. You did a pilot group, didn't you? I did. I did a you pilot, had a pilot. And then we <laughs> you, you, you start, like I, I want people to understand like when the whole point of this show is not necessarily be like for you to take notes and say oh let me do step by step what Kirk and Joe mm -hmm. are saying to create my course that's not the point we want to expose you to the process yes. we want to expose you to what you want to be thinking about and and so you create the content you create the content and the content is not you know when I'm when I mean by create the content you're you're putting pen to paper right you're, you're sure. creating a you know a process and 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 and, and uh, information for people to consume and then you have a pilot group I think that is so critical the yeah. pilot group is going to give you feedback to be able to yes. refine your content to ensure that you're delivering on what it is you intend for your 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 students to, to walk away with when they get their course right correct so i correct. You, you followed literally check 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 yeah. check those those are critical pieces that i don't want anybody to miss 
you you have you want to make sure that at the end of the day it's not just about hey i have a course no no nah, that's nah, the last nah. piece and I, you heard joe say that the course came after it was at the end of the journey the beginning of the journey was the desire to see this particular group win that was the desire and so now how do you get there you can't put out a course and hope that it's going to get people across the line. You got to You've got yeah, to yeah. test it first. So that so pilot Kurt, group is cool. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Dive, dive in, man. Let, 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 me, let me say two things. Cause I think there are sure. two things that are critical. The, the FLA would not have been what it was without the feedback from people. And, and me as the, as the instructor to have the humility to realize to- like, yo, like, there's growth in all this. Mm-hmm. And so the idea of an assessment, that doesn't happen without the, the, the group. Nope. The idea of having a workbook, that doesn't happen without the group. Wow. Like, like all these things that kind of came together because they said, Joe, we love, we love you when you speak, but some days we can't make it. We need homework. Like we need things to kind of yes. operate. And so yes. it, it's that kind of feedback. The other thing that, and I, and I hope somebody receives this. Let me, let me say this. The other thing that's so critical is when you're operating in purpose, the, the the success criteria shifts, right? It's this this idea of macro <laughs> patience, but micro speed, right? Like you could oh still God. be in the cloud, but you could still be in the dirt at the same time. My and goodness. so you're not worried about like, oh, I need to do this by tomorrow or else. Uh, you're not worried about, uh, is someone gonna sign for my course today? You, you, you like, think about it. Noah preached for 120 Woo-hoo! years. Like, 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 think about it. And only eight people, and I know at the time it might have looked like, yo, Noah was a bust, but that brother saved humanity. And so I'm telling y'all, when, when you start putting your coursework into life, the success mm. is not about how many likes or how many can you enroll. You, you don't compare yourself to the next person no. who has your course. No. You're not intimidated because a whole bunch of people are doing the same thing you did. No, no. God has a specific purpose and design for you. And you can you can start working that thing, and you can start massaging that thing. Because here's why, Kirk. This is your life's work. work. This ain't a, this ain't a season work. This is Come something on. you're doing for your life. Life, and it's going to be your legacy that your children and your children's children. Come on. And when you start thinking like that, you're no longer pressured by the need to like I need to rush something into. You know, Jay Z did his first al- his first album, Reasonable Doubt. And everyone said, Jay Z, why do you take so long to do your album? He said, No, I wanted this album to be perfect, right? Perfect. And so you you don't you don't necessarily rush to yeah. greatness, man. You just yeah. got to put the work in like, and let that thing massage. So I just hope people receive Ooh. that to understand, like, look, Ooh. if God's been burping something into you, it's all right. Like, like get pen to paper. Don't 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 fall into analysis paralysis. But yeah. at the same time, don't feel pressured by the need for speed all the time. Sometimes you gotta just let that thing. You got to start living that thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to start operating in that thing and you'll start seeing God do some extraordinary things oh, for you. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I have gone on record multiple times telling people everybody has a course in them. Oh, and yeah. I think you just heard Joe articulate that far better than I ever could. This is not coursework. This is your life's work. Like this is your legacy. Like this thing's gonna outlive you. Like, ooh, that. I I hope I, I I'm with you, Joe. I hope somebody receives what is shared. I hope somebody receives what is shared because that that is absolute gold. Start living that thing. David says. Albert says. Uh, G. Albert says. Feedback is is a nicety, not necessity, to creating good no great content ah and when the content creator is willing to step back hmm what can i say i I see your point i see your point albert gary link says we in church pass the plate (laughs) (laughs) yeah david hunt says everyone has a course in them i have said this multiple times everyone because your life is a course what you've learned in the course of your life you can share with others as a course. Oh, that's so good, man. I, you know, I am you know, going you, to. You know, the word, the word says, go we therefore to all nations, teaching them, baptizing yeah, yeah, them. And a lot yeah, of times yeah, yeah, yeah. we look at that, we over-spiritualize. We think, yo, know, it's a, no, no, what God is saying, look, the message that I've given you, like, like yeah. what I've, what I've blessed what I've and birthed you. in you Woo. to share to the world, go and teach. And when we say baptize them, it's a renewed, like 
help people yeah. get to a oh. new space. And Come and, and so look, man, look, every <laughs> I'm telling you, like everybody, in my humble opinion, everyone has a God-given genius inside of them. Right? Agreed. Like, like God Agreed. has designed something specific for you. So of course, man. And then let your gifts make room for you. And if you're miserable and frustrated at your job, yo, that's God saying, I want you to be uncomfortable because you need to be operating Time to get in out. what I called you to do. Called you to do. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> we gonna on, get, man. listen, we gonna get in trouble here now. We gonna get in trouble. <laughs> this is amazing. No, 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 listen, listen, I, I want, oh my, oh my, oh my. We're gonna get in trouble because we're gonna get out of, out of our time zone. So let me, let me get this last piece up here. Let me get this piece yeah. out, last piece up here. Definitely, we over-spiritualized that scripture. Preach, Joseph. I see you out there, David Kennedy. This is this. Let's get this last question up here, and then we're gonna we're gonna showcase some things that that uh, that Joe has coming up. I, I know some people may have some questions about the course. Um, what? So 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 this is our last question, and we're gonna get into some some of those other pieces. So, but Joe, here here's our final question: What yeah. has been the impact of your course, and would you recommend course creation? Right. Of course, we, I think we've already answered this to others, but, but what has been the impact of the course? Man, uh, I can tell you right now, I have seen lives change yeah. fundamentally. Yeah. And it's not necessarily just dollar and cents. Oh, I got more money now. I got a budget. People are now starting to think in context of legacy or they're starting to dream beyond their resources, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and that's what I was always telling people, don't spend beyond your resources because you gotta be a good steward, but I want you to dream, dream. beyond your resources. And so there, I'm, there's a shift in the atmosphere. And there was a testimony that I heard in what, after one of our courses that at that moment, it was like, okay, God, I got it. When me, before me and my wife launched this thing, I obviously had to have a conversation with her. And I said, babe, this is gonna require sacrifice of time. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna shortchange you. Uh, this is going to be a commitment. And I, I, my priority is you. So if, if this is a problem, mercy, I need you to like, you need to, you need to like talk to me. We need to talk through this and glory be to God. She looked at me. She said, baby, this is your passion. Like you go out there and go do it. And I remember telling her, I was like, babe, I just want to see people not struggle, man. Like I've always seen our people struggle. And so fast forward, we had a, a, a graduation for our, one of our co cohorts. And I explained to the lady, uh, well, I explained to the class, the journey with my wife, you know, how my wife was miserable at her job. And I remember telling my wife, like, look, baby, um, I'm going to retire you because you don't need to be struggling like this. And glory be to God, we made our <laughs> final payment on our investment property. She retired. Uh, and, and then fast forward to where I'm with this course. And I shared the story with the class. Yeah, this I remember. Lady said, this lady <laughs> said, Joseph, we are a product of your prayer. And I was like, you know what? I said, Lord, if the course, if the course stopped today, like, like, like if, if, if not one other person joined, it was all worth it. Worth I'm going to tell you something, man, the value of one, I'm a believer that God would have came to earth and died for one person. And a lot of yeah. times we're so focused on quantity mm -hmm. that we don't understand that God will move heaven and earth to save one person. And so when I talk about impact, man, I'm, I'm seeing folks, I just got a call from a guy today who, dude, he was in bad shape. He was the guy who would, who would drive an $80,000 car but make $30,000 a year. That was the kind Eesh. of brother he was. He Eesh. came to me and said, yo, bro, I'm debt free today. That's, that's what he told me. I just take him my course. He said, I'm debt free. My marriage is better. This is what he told me. Like, like, like me and my Come wife, on. we were struggling financially. Come on. Our Come marriage on. is better. Um, and when I heard that, I said, bro, let's go. And I said, you know what? So that's the impact that yeah. this course, this, this, this course is having. It's fixing marriages. Matter of fact, and you'll hear me say more about this. Just this past year, according to Divorce Magazine, the, the, the number one reason for divorce now is financial troubles, like not <sighs> being aligned finance over infidelity. Yo, no one's talking about it. We're not hearing Nobody. about this in our Nobody. churches. We're not hearing Nobody. about it in our communities. We're not hearing about it in our schools, at least not enough. But the devil is using this as one of his best secret weapons. And so we're going to shake this whole thing up. And I told my wife, like, look, money is not going to be our problem. It's going to be our strength. And so yeah. so I, I say this to say that, look, it's impacting lives and marriages. And to answer your question in terms of um, what I recommend, of course, absolutely, man. Yeah. Like this is like like I believe it. Like everyone has a gift that God has called them to do. And what the enemy would try to do is distract you. He would try to get you caught up in life. He would try to get you worried in, with your finances, worried and all this other stuff. 
anything to move you away from what God has called you to do. And this is why it's so important that we got to lock in with Jesus. Yo, yeah. There's a reason why Jesus yeah. always went to the corner to pray. He needed to yeah. replenish that thing. And yeah. he always stayed locked in on what the mission was. And so I'm telling y'all today, right now, and we see the course, Jesus's course in the form of scriptures. <laughs> like, 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 you know, he on. put his e-course together in the Bible. Yes. And he said, listen, but, but that wasn't the end of the story. God has given everyone an ability <laughs> to actually take their message to the street, to their world. And yeah. if you don't do it, what ends up happening is you are robbing the world for the reason why God has called you to be here. Oh you know, my we gosh. talk about the parable of the talents, you know, the, the, the three talents and one of them left. Yes, there's some financial implications, but that could be your gift. Yeah. Your gift. And, and, and you putting in the dirt because you're scared of what people might think. You're scared because someone Oof. might not share your Oof. lives. You're scared because no one's going to sign up. Come on, man. Like, like, like what God is trying to say is stop worrying about detach yourself away from the results i i bought you for a reason wow. let me take on that burden wow. just take what i've given you and, and i'm telling y'all man god is gonna work so so to answer your question i absolutely believe everybody <laughs> everybody <laughs> at some point need to get their message in the form of a course to get into the world because the world needs to hear from you that's why god put you on this earth I'm about to I'm about to turn over my table. This is listen, <laughs> y'all. Let me tell yeah. you something. There's one point I got to highlight here. I got to highlight, and then we, we're gonna we're gonna lead, we're gonna let it go. It, a lot of people, a lot of people focus on the quantity. How many people are gonna take my course? How do I get people into the course? How do you create a bigger pipe, a bigger funnel at the beginning of the, of the, how do we get those is that is it, that is an exterior motivation. What yeah. Joe is sharing with you is internal motivation. If you have that internal motivation, even just the one person coming back and sharing that I was changed by your course that that will be no. impact enough. I'm going to say this um, before we dive into one or one, two other pieces. One of the things, so I want to say full disclosure, everybody, I have taken the course. Uh, my wife and I have taken the course. And I remember uh, there's a lot that was shared in the course. And, and, and there is a lot that the group that we went through the course with, and this is the piece I wanted to share with people, is that the way Joe has set this up is that you have these, these modules that you, you you watch it, you have a workbook, and the workbook, how many pages in that thing? Like 100 I forgot, plus I pages. Yeah. 100, it's, it's a thick workbook, y'all. You need to do a financial assessment, and you have to submit that financial assessment, uh, assessment to, to Joe's team, and then he came back, I'm not gonna share, you know, people's numbers, but he came back with a number that shocked the entire class. He came back with, uh, how many people was in our class? I, I can't remember now. It was about it was like 23. 23, 23 couples, right? Yeah. Uh, mostly couples. And the number, he said, com, com, in just this class, yep. we had yep. this yep. amount of debt. People yep. were blown away. Yeah. Because I, I want you to understand what, what he shared there is critical. Oh. For, for course success, you have to do the homework. You have to create the instruments, the measurement tools, the KPIs, the homework, all of the things that are going to help you to really deliver value to those that take your course. This is what makes a signature course, a signature course. And I think that's what you've done. It's one of the reasons why immediately when I was thinking about having this episode, I said, Joe's got to be the one to be on this episode, but you gave us way more than I bargained for. But no, they, they, those are some of the pieces I wanted to make sure are included in what we're talking about tonight. Cause some people, I want you to walk away, not only with the, the mindset, because I think Joe is really hitting on that mindset piece. If you ever yeah. wondered to yourself, do I have a course in me? The answer is yes. Right. The answer is unequivocally yes. But I also want you to make sure that you can see that there is a methodical process. There is a methodical process. And people like me, people like Kimon are, are, are folks that want to walk you through that process as well. Uh, people like Joe could actually walk you through that process, even though that's not his, his, his area of focus right now. But I want to make sure that you guys uh, walk away with that with that realization. We got about 10 minutes left in the show. If you guys have questions for Joe, this is the time. While we're waiting for you guys to come with your questions from the comments, I do want to bring on screen your website, Joe, your website, because your website 
is is what people need to see. I know uh, my moderators have that website. If you can drop that in the chat right now, we want to we want to put this website out here. So, Joe, just talk to people a little bit about about this particular course, Financial Legacy Academy. Now we know, you know, we know your motive and all of the things, but um, just kind of give people the numbers. You know, how many how many modules is it? How long is it? How is it yeah. delivered? Talk to people about that part. Yeah. So like I said before, man, you know, the Financial Legacy Academy is an extension of everything that I've done, uh, that I've been through and my experience and what's important for people of color to think through when they take this course. And so we kind of really broke it down into four pillars that are that are communicated over nine different modules. Right. So mm -hmm. we hit on we look at things like debt. Right. How do we manage debt? Uh, we look at wealth protection, right? Do we make sure that we have the right mechanisms in place in case something goes wrong? Uh, we talk about investing, right? Like that's a big thing for us. Like how do you get your money to work for you? We look at the mm -hmm. stock market. We look at real estate. Um, I got my wife to join us in this thing where we talked about money and marriage. Like, you know, I shared some of our, our stories, some of the things that went wrong, some of the things mm -hmm. that went right. Like we got mm -hmm. very open and transparent with that. Um, and so, and then, and then lastly, and most importantly, we talk about this idea of legacy mindset and, and actually how do you di discover what your purpose is so you could operate it. And so we, we rally around those nine different modules, um, that you can follow and in, in self pace it's, it's online. It comes with a workbook. There's a financial legacy assessment that yeah. helps you know where you are on your journey, right? Either you're financially negligent or do you, or do you feel the burden of debt? Or yeah, you're on the road yeah. to recovery or are you financially free? And so we we extract that. And then the last thing we do is we also take a financial snapshot, right? I think this will be equivalent to like you stepping on the scale. We do this up front. Yeah. Like oh, you can't start a weight loss plan unless you know like this is how much I weigh and where's my target. And we prioritize this thing on like, yo, we want to help people retire early. Like the days of just working to your 90 so you can start living your life. No. That's just, that we're not we're not subscribing to that. We want to get people free with the right passive income like early, right? The same way I did for my wife and the same way I'm working on for me. And all of that is outlined in this course. And again, we, we are very cognizant and we're very real on some of the systemic challenges that we have as, as a people of color. But, but we don't let that stop us. We see that as an opportunity and we remind us kind of where we came from. So that's Excellent. kind of the coursework in a nutshell um, that you guys are going to have access to if you take Financial Legacy Academy. Honestly, I, I recommend it highly and I can I gladly and boldly and openly share that I have taken the course with, along with my wife. And and I want to I want to grab her comment real quick here. Uh, I don't know what happened to my thing here, but, but I want to grab her comment real quick, which says, oh, and Joe also wrote the theme song. Don't sleep on yeah. it, brother. That joint is fire. So we, we we enjoyed the dollar theme song, man. That thing is on is spinning on on iTunes on several other places. So yeah. make sure you check that out as well. Uh, Joe, as we get ready to wrap things up, as we get ready to close out, I'm going to say quickly to everybody, you see the link in the chat uh, for the after party. If you want to come hang out with me and Joe for just a few minutes on Zoom, go ahead and hit that link. Grab your ticket. The tickets are free. I'm just going to say that one more time. The tickets are free today and for the month of April. We are no longer selling tickets for the after party. We The tickets are actually free. So if you want to join us on Zoom for a few minutes, come on through uh, and, and, and join us. But Joe, talk to us about you. You've got a show coming up this week and you have a conference coming up in, in yeah. April. So talk to us a little bit about, about both of those. Yeah. So I think one of the things we talked about earlier was is like, yo, people say we need more content. And so yeah. we started this monthly series called Let's Talk Money where we just have a dope conversation about how money is impacting us on a day to day. And so yeah. our first month, we talked about getting cre your credit right. right. Last month, we talked about, you know, tales, tales from the, um, Greenwood. Uh, the, 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 from Greenwood, right. Yeah. Um, you know, with Black Wall Street, but yes, Greenwood. And so, you know, we talked through that and this month, matter of fact, this Thursday coming up, yep. we're talking about women in finances. I'm like, yo, yep. look like, like ladies, it's not just about brothers getting their money. Like, I, like women need to understand y'all got a place here. It's time for y'all to get y'all bag. And so we're going to, I got my girl Sarah coming through uh, yeah. to kind of talk about, oh, you know, former colleague of me, mine, a former colleague of mine from Microsoft who's very passionate about women and money. And so she's going to be here this Thursday. There it is. Sarah, Sarah's going to be on there this Thursday. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, to that. That's going to be on Thursday. We'll make sure for those that are catching us, catching the replay of this thing, we'll make sure that that thing is in the description uh, for my podcast crew. We'll make sure we have the link for that as well. Uh, Joe, talk about the, talk about the, 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 the financial freedom series next, next month. Yeah. This is April 11th to 14th. 
Yeah. So, as a matter of fact, let me just say, like, your, your viewers are going to be the first people to hear about this. Like, we didn't even launch this out to oh, the world snap. yet. Oh, snap. Really, so, man? So, That's so dope. This is, the, <laughs> this, is the, this is the preview. Guys, I'm so pumped about this. Like, we are doing this financial freedom series because at the end of the day, like I said before, I want my people to become free. Like, 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 yeah. like the days of us being financially anxious, it's not happening. And I called some of the guys that some of you might have seen them on my platform. Mm -hmm. on who are going to talk about areas that can help us get the freedom. And so April 11th, Issa is going to be talking about how real estate could be an engine to become free, how it's helped him personally become free. He's going to share his story. I got Steven coming in the following day to talk about the stock market. Love I'm it. going to talk about how debt needs to fix, you know, we need to fix our community. And then Myron's going to come about getting your mind right. So mind right. that mind financial right. freedom is coming April 11th. It's going to be streaming on my Facebook page and YouTube as well. Y'all yeah, need to tap in. It's going to be off the charts. It's going to be off the chart. It's going to be off the chart. Let's play this quick promo. Oh, come through. Gonna it's, be lit. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be lit, Kirk. <laughs> I, I promise you. I promise you. Yo, cats are gonna be free. Cats is gonna Let's be free. Go. Let's you. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, listen. I, I mean, listen. <laughs> Simply ball fry, ball dropper podcast. Thank you so much, man. That, yeah, yeah. David Kenny says that 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 beat is banging. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yo, uh, G Albert saying, do you guys have a link to Joseph's FB? page for the live stream we're gonna make sure you get all of those links um we're gonna make sure you get all of those links uh, uh albert we're gonna make sure you have all of those links because we're gonna put them not only in the description of the video here on youtube we're gonna actually put them um on, on my website as well we're gonna put that in the newsletter that, that goes out um on the first so definitely you're gonna be, you're gonna get all of those links we'll make sure you have that but yeah definitely man this is gonna be gonna be awesome stuff looking forward to that listen i want to say a word of thanks to you joe for coming through tonight sure. Um, I'm going to close things out here in just a second, but man, what a awesome conversation we're able to have around course creation and your experience with that process. And you shared some absolute nuggets of wisdom with the audience today that I think anybody, listen, just this experience is not over. It does not finish here. You want to go ahead and share this thing after we complete it out. But Joe, thank you so much for coming through sure. today and, and talking with us. No, nah, no doubt, man. Appreciate you, my guy. Absolutely. Fam, 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 fam. Listen, another episode is in the books. What can I say? What can I say? I'm excited about next month, right? Excited about next month, but I'm going to have to go back and watch this one again. Like, yo, Joe said some stuff. I really hope, whew, I really hope y'all were, were paying attention because there's more, it's more than just a course. It's more than just uh, a means to make residual or ancillary income it is more than just having funds deposited in your bank account while you're asleep it's about impact it's about leaving a legacy it's about taking your lived experiences right your story which you're not the author of mining the gold in your story and sharing with people that roadmap of how you got from here to here and allowing them to experience that same win that you were able to experience. This is the this is the this is what life is about. I, I sincerely believe this, and and I, I I will say it. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Everyone, everyone has a course in them. I want to say a word of thanks for all of you. I right? this this show would not be what it is if if the How It All Works audience did not come through week after week after week. We're excited about the month of April. Excited about the Why I Go Live series 
and I'm hoping that you guys will come and hang out with us. Listen, we are going to take a break after the month of April. I'm going to say that every week. We're going to take a break after the month of April. We're going to take a break for, for May and June, but we will be, come back later on in the, in the year, in the summer, to be able to start things up back again. But man, we're excited about what we got going on. Excited for, for what you guys will do with this information that has been shared and excited that you were able to not only come through, hang out with us today, but peek behind the curtain a little bit, have that light bulb aha experience. Essentially, what we're saying is we're excited you're able to see how it all works. And we'll see you, family, in the next video. Later.